Kate Headley and Simone Fox Coob last updated 7.46, May 12, 2018 Western Australia Homicide Squad detectives are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of seven people in Osmington, near Margaret River. The shock deaths of seven people in a mass shooting in Margaret River have left the West Australian town reeling. Police were called to a property near the southwest town, which is 260 kilometres south of Perth, about 5.15 a.m. on Friday. The bodies of three adults and four children were found, with a massive investigation launched into the circumstances surrounding their deaths. Katrina Miles with their four children, a mother and her four children are among the victims in a mass shooting that left seven people dead on a property in rural Western Australia in an apparent murder-suicide. Margaret River Mail report Nikki Lafevra has described harrowing details of the town's reaction. Read more, three adults and four children found dead in Western Australia Town Australia's firearm arsenal at highest level since Port Arthur Massacre Port Arthur Massacre anniversary. How shooting was an end and a beginning everyone is devastated, she said. The shooting happened at a rural property near Margaret River in Western Australia. The town is absolutely reeling. Lefebvre said locals were falling apart, with news those dead were from a well-known local family heavily involved in community events. It's passed in a bit of a blur, a mixture of grief and loss and shock and trying to find out facts as well, she told Radio 6 PR. Gossip goes quick. You need to let people know what's going on. But also know we are dealing with a lot of grief, there's been a lot of talk about who has been involved, family is still to be informed. Families need to have talks with their kids tonight and explain what's going on. Police have blocked the road in Osmington, near the shooting. She said the Osmington community was made up of farmers and people who had moved into the area for the rural lifestyle. The community was awash with offers of help and support, from counselling to shopping trips and school runs. We're hardy people and we come together pretty well. We've met with bushfires, shark attacks, so many things, and it's heartening to see that when something like this happens it's all what can we do how can we help, she said. Police at the property where an apparent mass shooting left three adults and four children dead near the western Australia town of Margaret River. At this stage there are no details on what led to the shooting. Neighbor Felicity Haynes told Radio 2 gigabytes gunshots had been heard, but no one realized what had happened until police began to arrive. All the neighbors are in shock, everyone along Osmington Road. I mean, this is a very quiet peaceful community, mostly rural blocks. We all know each other, all support each other. In fact, the whole Osmington community was very much united against this coal mine that was going to be erected right opposite the place where this tragedy occurred, she said. Despite all different political persuasions, and differences in wealth and culture we are all united here along Osmington Road in being a supportive, caring community. So for something to happen like this is quite horrifying. Police have closed Osmington Road and are expected to remain there throughout the day and into the evening. Neighbor Rob Brown lives in the house across the road from the property where the shooting took place. He said detectives came to speak to him at 9.30 a.m. Friday morning but he hadn't heard loud noises or any unusual sounds coming from the property overnight. There was nothing much I could tell them, said the semi-retired farmer. Brown said he came down to the farm on weekends from Perth so he didn't know the residents of the property very well. I'd seen who I assume was the father out in a paddock one day, on a tractor. But I didn't have the opportunity to say hello forensic vans. Police and detectives are still arriving at the property, which is 100 yards from his farm. It's just a bit surreal, isn't it? I worked in the media for 30 years and you report on these things from time to time, but you don't expect them to happen just across the road, he said. The local newspaper reporter said Margaret River was currently in protection mode. We're banding together, she said. That's what Margaret River does. WA Police Commissioner Chris Dawson said the shooting was a significant tragedy, one he could only describe as horrific. This devastating tragedy will no doubt have a lasting impact on the families concerned, the communities and our staff in the southwest, he said during a media conference on Friday morning. The police chaplain has been called to attend the scene of the tragedy. Where to get help colon 1737. Need to talk. Free call or text 1737 anytime for support from a trained counselor lifeline, 0800 543 
354095222999 within Auckland Youth Line 0800 376 633 free text 234 or email talk at youthline.co.nz or online chat samaritans 0800 726 666 suicide crisis helpline 0508 828-865-0508 Tau Toko WhatsApp, 0800-942-8787 For 5 to 18 year olds, phone counselling is available Monday to Friday, midday 11pm and weekends, 3pm to 11pm Online chat is available 7pm to 10pm daily Kids line, 0800-5437-54, Kids line for young people up to 18 years of age, open 247.thelowdown.co.nz, or email team at thelowdown.co.nz or free text 5626 Anxiety New Zealand, 0800 Anxiety, 0800 269 4389 If it is an emergency or you, or someone you know, is at risk call 111, whataday.com.au.